by Daria Unutmas, who is an immunologist at the Jackson Laboratory Research Institute. Thanks very much for joining us here on TRT World. Now, as Rahul mentioned in his report, uh, many diseases are resurfacing. Monkeypox uh, is one of them, right? But monkeypox was an endemic in many African countries before it emerged uh, in the European continent and other parts of the world. Tell me, why are we seeing a rise in monkeypox, especially, in non-endemic countries now? So, uh, you know, we can uh, characterize these uh, infectious diseases as sort of uh, emerging or in some cases re-emerging uh, infections. Uh, for example, in case of uh, polio, it would be considered re-emerging. Uh, because polio existed uh, and it was almost eliminated uh, uh, through vaccination. But unfortunately, when the immunity level or what we call herd immunity in the population falls below a certain level, a certain threshold, these viruses can, uh, or bacteria could be also, re-emerge. Uh, and as we are seeing in New York, for example, which is very unfortunate. Uh, in case of uh, monkeypox, uh, this could be considered... Uh, a sort of an emerging or a re-emerging uh, infection. Uh, but the reason for that is is very different. And, and we think that uh, the main reason, as you pointed out, it was uh, endemic in uh, various uh, African countries. In fact, there are two different strains. Uh, there's more deadly version in the region of Congo and more Western African countries have a less uh, uh, deadly version, which is now spreading in the world. Uh, we think that th that happened because the virus uh, accumulated number of mutations uh, that sort of made it easier to transmit from human to human, because uh, most of these viruses are uh, that are local are usually uh, coming from the animals. So if there is an animal contact, a uh, number of people get infected, but they don't transmit to other people so easily. So it's very local. It's okay. sort of like a fire. Okay, I mean, but this is certainly a big uh, cause of concern, right? And this is something, uh, Dr. Ernutmas, that I have felt as a journalist when it comes to reporting on resurfacing diseases. We start talking about it once these diseases start to hit wealthier nations. For example, in the case of monkeypox. Monkeypox was an endemic in Africa, right? But okay. did we talk about it as much as we are talking about it right now? Uh, unfortunately not, and I, I completely agree. This is a major, major problem because uh, there are a number of other viruses that are uh, endemic in African countries or in uh, Far East Asia as well, uh, and uh, apparently we don't seem to care too much on, until they, they sort of spill over uh, to the rest of the world, to the, to the Western countries, but uh, these viruses constantly evolve so if you give them if i chance may interject and this correct me if i'm wrong and the spillover happens because efforts to contain the virus in africa are not as effective as they become when the virus hits wealthier nations yes uh in fact we saw this example in ebola i mean ebola as you know is a very very deadly virus uh, and uh, you get these outbreaks in, in Africa uh, occasionally. Uh, but, uh, you know, we had a case in New York. Uh, I was at NYU, and uh, that case was in our hospital. And when that happened, uh, people took Ebola much more seriously, uh, although it, it was still killing 90% of the infected people. Uh, so I completely agree. We have to stop uh, the reservoirs where they are happening, whether it's a it's an animal reservoir or whether it's a transmission reservoir, or uh, if you have the vaccinations, uh, vaccines, we definitely need to vaccinate the population so the, that we don't give chance to the to the virus to evolve and accumulate mutations as it happened in, in monkeypox. We think that there's about 50 mutations that accumulated. Somehow it made it easier to, uh, to transmit itself. All I right, totally agree. Uh, Dr. Daria Onutmas, thanks very much for talking to us here on TRT World. Really appreciate it. My pleasure.